What's up guys, Steve Cook here from fitnessculture.com. Today, we're going over how to properly train the abs. So, to fully train the abs, we need to understand what each function of the different muscles in our abdomen do. So first and foremost, when you look at the abs, yeah, I just lifted up my shirt. Hopefully, I'm lean enough to show you guys. We have, you have all these, you know, you have the six pack, you have your obliques. So there's a lot to the abs. When we look at it, you have the obliques. These are the external obliques. They run down towards the midline. From there, if you were to peel back that layer. So you, these are gonna come from, you know, side crunches, side knee ups, anytime we're twisting. From there, we have our rectus abdominis, which is really what kind of creates our six pack. In between here, we have tendons that connect it all, that sheath, and then underneath that, we have our internal obliques. So our internal obliques are actually gonna run the opposite direction. So external obliques are running in towards our midline. Our, that's our external obliques are running in towards the midline. Our internal obliques actually run the opposite way. Underneath that, we have the transverse abdomen. So the transverse muscles pretty much act as like a safety belt. They're gonna run across our midline, whereas our rectus abdominis runs up and down. Our transverse abdominis runs across horizontally. And basically, like I said, that function is to keep everything stable. So things like plank are gonna work that. So for bodybuilding, we tend to work a lot of rectus abdominal and then also external obliques. A lot of times we fail to really get into the transverse by doing planks and also some of those bigger side to side movements that we're gonna be doing today. I don't do these all the time. I really focus on these when I want to concentrate on core strength. So having abs is great, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have a strong core. It means you basically have low body fat. We can do all the crunches in the world, side crunches, planks, building up these muscles, but until we get rid of the body fat that covers these, you're not gonna see them. So a lot of people think spot reducing, which doesn't exist, can happen. Spot reducing is, if I do a million crunches, I'm gonna have no body fat in this area. Unfortunately, that's not how things work. Spot reducing cannot happen. We all carry weight and fat disproportionately in our body. Some people tend to carry it, you know, kind of equally throughout. Those are the lucky people. Men, we tend to carry it more in our glutes, our lower back, our abs. Women carry it more in their thighs and their, and their booties. Usually, typically where you gain weight first is also where you're gonna lose weight last. So I have a lot of people that message me saying, Steve, you know, I've been cutting, I'm, I'm pretty lean everywhere, but I can't get abs. Unfortunately, you guys probably just have a disproportionate amount of body fat that you carry on your abdomen. In order to get rid of that, you're just gonna have to get super lean. What I've noticed is when I've gotten real lean, it's actually easier for me to kind of stay toned in those areas. And what I mean by that is as we work and develop muscles, our, our body kind of remembers how to get into those things. By doing crunches, you're gonna build bigger ab muscles, but you're not gonna be reducing body fat at all. Just so we make that clear right off the bat. For our first exercise, you're gonna need a set of sliders. Now you, these are professionally done, thanks to the trainers here at Bunker. Um, or you can find some Walmart if you're in the States. I don't know where if you're not in the States, but sliders, we're gonna go underneath our, of our feet. If you don't have sliders, you can just take off your shoes, use socks if the floor is slippery enough. So the first movement we're gonna be doing is a plank with a leg slide. So from here, we're gonna sit up in a nice plank. Toes on the sliders, on our elbows, keeping our core nice and tight like someone's punching you in the stomach. And then from there, just squeeze your glutes. I don't want you too far down. I don't want you too far up. So glutes nice and squeezed. From here, we're gonna come out to the side and back down. So you're also getting some hip work, but working primarily the transverse abs, keeping the legs as straight as possible. We've got 15 on each side. And then without any rest, we're moving on to our next exercise. Next exercise is a reverse V up. From here, we're gonna be almost like we are on the plank, except for we're gonna be on our hands. Our core is still nice and tight, glutes are squeezed. From there, we're just gonna slide all the way up. And if you're like me, and you're not super flexible, you can do one of two things. The first would be to bend your knees, which I don't recommend. The second would be to get a plate, put your hands on the plate. Now that allows, I'm, I'm off the ground a little bit more, I have more room to slide my feet underneath. So we're gonna be right here, right there. Back to the starting position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
15 will leave you gassed. Moving into our next exercise, no break, straight into it. The third and final movement in this tricep is a band resisted sit up. So you can find different bands out there. This one's purple and it has a medium resistance. I'm gonna find the pole in the gym and I'm just gonna loop it around and pull it through. From there, I'm gonna get into a sit up position. I'm just gonna put that band over top of my head. You can already feel that resistance pulling on me here. So you can either have a partner sit on your toes or if you don't have a partner, have the dumbbells. That way you're not moving all the way around because this band wants to pull you back. So either having a partner or the dumbbells on the toes is gonna help a whole lot. From there, starting in a crunch position and just coming up, keeping our hands either in front of us or to our sides. I don't want them behind your neck. Squeezing, coming back down. Doing these. When we do a normal sit up, we're fighting gravity. When we do a banded sit up, we're fighting the band pulling on us towards the post. So as we come up, it actually gets harder. And as we go down, it gets easier. But I never, if you notice, I never come to a lying flat, relaxed position. I always have some tension on the abs. After 15 reps there, we're taking a minute rest and then we're jumping back into our tricep. We have three rounds of each of these. So three exercises, three rounds. Our next tricep, again, working abs more than just for show. Abs gotta be for dough too because when we talk about core, your core comes into everything in life. Everything, even your relationships. In the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, yeah, no. We'll talk more about that later. That's a different video. Uh, all right, so we got ball slams. Take a seat on ball slams. We're starting up here and we're not just dropping it. I see a lot of people when they're doing ball slams just starting up here and doing that. No, that's not what we're doing. We're trying to generate so much force, posterior chain, pulling down, almost like a skier, pulling down from here, boom, picking it back up. We got 15. It's gonna look something like this. Straight from there into our sidebar rotations. Biggest thing here, keeping the arms straight. I don't want it too far away from your body either. So we're gonna start off at about 60 degrees, keeping the arms as straight as possible. Just rotating, fighting on the way down, and come back up. This is working the intercostals, external, internal obliques, all that good stuff. We got 10 each side. He needs to do it nice and slow. Arms straight at all times. Fight it. Final movement is the bar rollout. So we're completing this without stopping, and we have 60 seconds rest after this. We're gonna set up glutes, squeeze nice and tight. And as we go down, we're just gonna keep the same angle on the way and then back up. Now, if you can't go all the way down, stop to where you feel like you're not gonna be able to go any further, and then just roll out. So if you just stay right here the entire time. That is fine, but I want you to make sure we don't crack the back. I don't want you doing this. Bending and putting those glutes up in the air to pull the weight back. Glutes should stay tight throughout the movement. Arms straight, using the abs the entire time. It's one of my favorites because I feel like it really requires you Keep that core tight. You're using your transverse as well as the rectus abdomen. I always have a hard time saying that word abdomen, abdominal, abdomini, your rectus and your transverse abdomen. We're at 90 seconds, no, 60 seconds, and then we're back into it. 